Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape Oil Painting Demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy, and bringing you another painting today. It's called River Reflections 11 by 11. Uh, finished this uh, a couple weeks back. I kind of hung out in the studio for a while. There were some things that were bothering me about it, the niggling, and uh, uh, sometimes when I have that with a painting, I'll just leave it sit in a drying area for a while. And uh, in this case, it was just some patterns that were in the clouds that I had to address. Also, this was also, I think, uh, painted on a, a pretty heavily textured board, just like the one I shared with you over the weekend, uh, which I probably like a little better, although I don't know which one would be more successful of the two. It's hard to say. There's a lot that I like about River Reflections here. I do like the sky and I like the colors in it. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm sharing it with you so you know. I think it's at least shareable, if nothing else. But uh, today is uh, Tuesday, July 24th, 2018. And uh, I was, as always, on Tuesdays working in the studio. I had no student today. I uh, did some... Uh, oh, I'll tell you exactly what I did. And if you're a fan of the uh, past masters, you'll be glad to know that I carved out uh, some time to work on a, a Ness study today. A painting that I've done before um, in the 100 Days of Tonalism called Sunrise. Um, I had a much better reproduction of his painting. I actually initially was settling on something that was not so great, um, but when I loaded it up on my big um, TV that I used to uh, plug in my USB sticks and, uh, you know, use it's basically a big digital frame, uh, this low res one was just too chunky, so I dug in and found a better version. Um, which, yeah, I guess the actual painting is just super dark. It's really gone brown. So I upped the, uh, the contrast and the, uh, um, lightened it and uh, using that as my, my uh, reference. And uh, that was really good. It looks great. Um, I don't want to say I had a struggle with it, but um, the thing is with this particular painting is that... Uh, there's so many amorphous, uh, n not very defined forms in it um, that I, I don't think I was aware of, as aware of when I was using my smaller digital frame. Also, my previous study of it was a uh, 5x7. And by the way, that's probably my most viewed video of all time. It's been, someone put it in a playlist or something, and it's getting, you know, 40... Well, not 40. What am I talking about? Like four or 5,000 views, something like that. I don't think it's because it's uh, an especially great painting. I think it's just on this playlist that YouTube likes to put in front of people typing in. Probably typing in tonalism. I think it's one of the main things that comes up when you put tonalism in the, uh, the old search engine there. I come up plenty under tonalism, of course, but... Um, you know, so, uh, and that study, I'm pretty happy with it. It's getting to be a while back now. This one is done much larger. It's a 7x10. And um, I think it's all really, uh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, I know that's irksome. Sorry. Um, I think it's all going to come together uh, on the uh, second pass. I try as much as possible to get these. Uh, I always try to do everything in that first pass. I just think that's a good goal to have, but there's just some things I'm not going to be able to pull off, and um, that became pretty evident as I was uh, working on it. So, uh, but it, it's going to be all right. It's going to be good. You know, you'll see. You'll see. Uh, I also uh, this afternoon um, did some finishing touches on another figure study. Uh, which I think ended up looking pretty good too. So, by the way, if you haven't checked out my figure study channel, there'll be a link underneath the video. I can see some of you have tipped on over, and I'm up to a whopping six 
maybe seven subscribers if you haven't subscribed to that channel you should because there's only one video there now but I'm actually going to sit down and do another video hopefully to go up tomorrow or Thursday so uh, yeah and uh, yeah I have some some pretty interesting figures I've done uh, there's a heck of a lot that I've wanted to explore in that regard I've got the folders of reference to to prove it and uh, I'm getting pretty uh, just excited about the possibilities really because um, there's like I say a lot of figures I've wanted to do over the years so no male figures unfortunately uh, maybe maybe well, we'll see we'll see uh, I one thing I loved about I always loved about drawing men was you know they have muscles and so they have definition and uh, um, that makes them a bit easier especially things like arms you know but um, yeah uh, the thing I like about painting uh, women is that I like women <laughs> <laughs> so it's <laughs> automatically rewarded kind of like I love sunsets and twilight pictures you know I love I love it when you go out and the sun's the sun's uh, setting and uh, it's so beautiful and uh, so I think you need to have some sort of inspiration like that driving you if you're gonna do good art anyway um, you know it looks like I'm looking at the beginning of this painting it looks like uh, you might see my color mixing session on this I did manage to film that today on the NS study so um, although just looking at what he did I know I know that I'm trying to get effects uh, working all la prima that he arrived at through tons of glazing and dry brushing and he's got a real lattice work uh, going on but yeah what can you do you still you still I think it always is best to to really try and nail it out of the gate and then try and nail it in as few passes as you can because the the freshness component is really one of the critical components of painting and once that's lost um, you can't get it back the only way to get it back is to uh, scrap the entire painting and, and go after the uh, motif again and of course that could be and probably it will be guarantee it will be a completely different painting I've never I've done several motifs repeatedly lots and lots of motifs um, I never get the same painting twice it's always very different um, that's because I'm different it's because I know more about painting um, but also on any given day even if you know more about painting you could still fail for a multitude of reasons and if you've been with me for any length of time uh, you know I have plenty to say about failure and uh, you know it's always there it doesn't feel good <laughs> but uh, if you're gonna be a decent artist you need to be comfortable with it you can't be scared you can't be a, a wuss you gotta you gotta be willing to fail um, so what else is going on like I said Tuesday usually I don't do these on Tuesday it might be Wednesday but I don't know I've been feeling uh, the need a pull to uh, to share some more things and um, I of course will have some things over the weekend too I have a couple in this folder and then I've got some really nice ones that uh, I've completed in the studio just kind of sitting there waiting for me to do some more photography so uh, that'll be great I guess I'll talk a little bit about this painting. So one of the things that uh, attracted me to this uh, uh, subject was the um, the blue sky with the ridge of yellow underneath a bank of clouds. I've always gone after that several times. Also, I'm really interested in the pinks and stuff contrasted against the blue. And the, of course, the title of the piece is River Reflections. I thought it was quite interesting the way that the trees were, um, or bushes were reflected in the river. And uh, so that's why I painted it. That's why I went after it. Um, this is one of those ones, just like the last one I shared. It went, it went pretty quickly. It actually, I did have an extra pass I think that'll be coming up any minute and really what I dealt with there was trying to get a flow in the sky especially around the tree and I still feel like I could have done a better job of that but again uh, you know just to repeat myself as I do endlessly um, 
I, I'm always aware that um, I can choke all the good things out of the painting just by overworking it. So anytime you put that <clears throat> painting back up in the easel, you're taking a real chance that that's going to be the case. It's one of the reasons why I'll, I'll leave something to sit for quite a while until I um, get in there and uh, adjust it. So anyway, pretty happy the way that this one came out. New subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And old subscribers, thank you for sticking around. I'll be back real soon with another video. Go check out my figure uh, videos on my other channel. And I'll be back real soon. Meanwhile, take good care and stay out of trouble.